Hey guys, hello. Welcome to my channel. There is a hair in my eye. Did I get it? Oh my gosh, that was so long. You know when you get like that little tiny hair in your eye and you can't find it, like it's stuck in your eyelashes and just like wants to destroy your whole world? That would have happened. Okay, moving on. Today, I thought it might be fun to do a little Game of Thrones kind of Khaleesi makeup look. So the other day I put up a picture like with this beautiful long platinum hair and a lot of you were like, oh my gosh, you look like Khaleesi. But then a lot of you were saying another name that starts with a D. Can you tell I don't watch Game of Thrones? I know. If you're watching this, chances are you are obsessed with Game of, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, like the rest of the world. I tried to watch five or six episodes and it didn't make my soul feel good inside. As seen on Twitter, you guys have assured me that the first season kind of sucks, but it lays the groundwork. Some people said the first and second season kind of suck. But for me, between, okay, the animal killing was number one that pissed me off. And then the incest was just super grossing me out. I'm like, why am I watching a show with this? Like. I don't watch the news for a reason. And so between the animal killing, the little, I think a little boy died or something like that. And then I saw something else in a later episode on someone's Instagram story. And I was like, this show is disgusting. So I feel like they really relied on sex for the first season to sell it and call me a prude. But I don't really enjoy watching TV shows with that much sexual like content in it. I don't know. I just... It was a lot for me. I might, if I get bored enough, go back, take your guys' word on it, if you will, and watch. But today we're gonna talk all about the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. I know this is a little bit late, but some of you, even if it is late, still wanna see it from me because you care about my opinion, so. Thank you. I had um, gotten this PR package right here from Urban Decay. Oh, literally almost dropped this whole thing. <laughs> this is where the palette was. Now. It is right here. And then you pull out, so sometimes you gotta be, watch these things, they get tricky. Like there's little trap doors on the side and stuff. Uh, then there's a very messy drawer. <laughs> it must've gotten messed up in the mail um, with some of the different things down here. Now there were a couple brushes in this that I knew that I wasn't going to like to use because they are have a really skinny like, uncomfortable base, but they're super cute, like collector's items. So I'll show those to you in this book. I thought the PR package was really cool. The imagery is awesome. Urban Decay kills it with imagery and packaging and everything. Oh, you might be wondering why there's makeup on like literally from here up. <laughs> I got ready to do this so this wouldn't take all day and I didn't have to waste your guys' time and we could just like get in the realty, which is the makeup here. But let's check out the palette first. This is $65. Now, this is the kind of palette that is a shall we say collector's items is not something you're going to travel with really cool actually when i did my collection with urban decay wendy gave me a bunch of their older pop-up palettes and you'll see what i mean right here with this there's a pop-up she said that they used to do that uh, all the time in their palettes and she actually gave me some of their like vintage like early 2000s like pop-up palettes which i they're so coveted. They're like in my office and I like don't let anybody touch them. You pull this out. Now, I immediately hate this. I hate palettes that pull out like this. I think it's extremely annoying. I just wish that this like maybe opened to another layer. So that's annoying. But this is the uh, palette right here. So there are some swatches from the circular pans. This is like so professional, you guys. Honestly, this is so, this is my best work. Um, it looks like some of these are kind of flakier, like this one. This one doesn't look like it has very good payoff, but as we all know, the way that they swatch on an arm can be completely different than the way that they actually apply to the eyes. Well, Urban Decay does black eyeshadow like none other. So I am very stoked that they have pulled it out with this black eyeshadow and made that awesome too. These are really, really like rich and creamy. That for a like brown red is pretty amazing. Okay, so uh, here is this side. We have two iridescents, which is at the top and the bottom down here. We've got some like really foil metallic, which is this one, this one, these. This one, Winterfell, it's almost as like a 
flaky kind of like metallic. Pretty impressed with those actually. I like that they added a few different transition shades in here. I'll be completely honest, when I first looked at this, I was just kind of like, I don't like the way that these are set up. But the reason why they're set up like this, I believe is because each of these little things, these little areas I assume is like different parts or different cities or times in, you know, like this one is kind of looking like this pattern talking on my ass right now. These look really cool, I'm excited to try this. So I guess like you can just take this and use it. I wish it had a cover because then you could almost travel travel with this like that. I think the price is pretty good considering you're getting that many shades and it's a collector's item and you get like a pop-up and a giant mirror, that's pretty cool. Next we're gonna talk about something I opened and I was just like, I don't like this at all. This is the Mother of Dragons highlight palette. <laughs> So this is what this guy looks like. Very cool packaging here, Destiny. This is $36. You open this guy up and the reason why I'm not drawn to this is because I don't like pink highlighter for the most part, unless I'm doing like a super, super pink like look. And then also I could use this maybe as a bronzer, but it's a highlight. So it's going to be a little too dark for my skin tone. But I feel like if you were very tan or had a deeper skin tone, this would look absolutely gorgeous on you. Like I said, if these were bronzers, I think they'd be really cool. So I'm gonna swatch these for you anyways. Okay, these are really, really pretty and very pigmented. Of course, Urban Decay has done it again with their quality. So maybe yeah, I am gonna try this today. It's kind of interesting. They mention a lip, a lip and cheek stain, which is right here, and it's twenty-six dollars. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. So yeah. Okay, so there are four eyeliners with this collection. 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner formula that we all know and love. They are $22 each. This is Lannister Gold. It's this really pretty metallic. That's like, looks like it's like seriously glowing on camera. This one is Winterfell Snow. Like I would like that as an eyeshadow. I don't know about it as an eyeliner. I don't really see the point. I feel like you wouldn't really see that. Oh, and the tip broke on me, look. I guess I pressed too hard. The Night King, these are, this packaging is really cool. I'm loving the fade. And this one is a really pretty, like metallic, deep, like ocean blue. That's gorgeous. That matches Blue Jean Baby, the new Arctic Fox shade, so well. I'm loving that. And lastly, Dragon Smoke. This one is a like black with pink and blue metallic like glitter in it. It's really, really pretty. This shirt is very appropriate right now. Okay, so I did actually receive the uh, lip and cheek stain. It was almost in the same packaging as the lipstick. So this is $26. Swipe across the apple of the cheek and blend quickly with fingertips. Use with Mother of Dragons highlight palette to create a flushed illuminated look. Layer the stain to create a deeper flushed effect so you can layer it on top of itself. Apply Hi-Fi lip gloss to lips over the stain to add shine. So you can use this for your lips or your cheeks. This is what it looks like. We can just put a little bit of this on my hand to see. Okay. I think it will get a little bit darker as it dries. I like this for like editorial looks. Uh, I would never buy like a, a stain for my lips because I have small lips. You know I like to overline, so there's that. So we have four lipsticks, two metalized, and we have a sheer and we have a comfort matte. Again, I don't draw towards the metalized really or the sheer because I have smaller, a smaller like upper lip that I always like to change the shape of. These are $19 each. Sansa Stark. This is our sheer tones. So this is a really pretty kind of nude on the warmer side. Um, then we have White Walker. This is a comfort matte. This is like a really pretty deep, like brown red looking shade it looks like. That's pretty. Next for the, me the first metalized we have, I can't even pronounce any of these freaking names, you guys, help me. Like tell me phonetically in the comments below how to say these things. Circe Cer Lannister, this is a metalized um, coppery shade. And then last for the lipstick is Daenerys, That person, the, the name starts with a D, that's who this is named after. This is Metalize, and this is kind of like, um, 
like a neutral red kind of shade it looks like. Those are the lipsticks. And that is the entire collection other than the brushes, which I will pop on screen for you. There's Aria's Stark's Needle. These are both swords, they look really cool. And then Jon Snow's A Long Claw. And lastly, if you are a huge Game of Thrones and Urban Decay fan, and you want it all and you don't wanna to have to choose, you're in luck because you can actually grab the entire vault for $250. Oh, available online at sephora.com, ulta.com, Macy's, and Urban Decay. So I will link you guys for the best price I can find. Most likely they're all the same though. Because I haven't watched the show very much and I've only watched like six episodes or so, it's hard for me to kind of make an opinion about the shades that were like used in this because I just, don't know, like maybe cheek stain makes total sense. But for me, just looking at it from a makeup lover standpoint, um, I'm not super stoked on the lip range, specifically to do with me and my preference of my lips. So that's really like, take take that with a grain of salt because that's literally just like my opinion. I already gave you guys my opinion on this guy so far with the color range. Universally speaking, I don't think this is was the best choice of shades. Again, maybe it ties hand in hand with the TV show and I don't know what I'm talking about. It happens very often. I also wish that this had a clear cover over it so that you could just pop that on there and it was maybe magnetic and you could take it traveling with you. But again, that's not the point of this collection. The point of this collection is to just be rad and look cool. The liners look pretty cool. With the exception of that one, it's really pretty, but it's just interesting as an eyeliner. Again, maybe it's just really ties into the show and that's kind of why they chose that, but it is really beautiful. I just wish it was maybe like an eyeshadow stick or like a gloss highlight or an eyeshadow. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Kind of my thoughts for this, I wanted to do something kind of like ethereal and like lighter because I have my stylist coming over today. We're gonna play and she's gonna do like another Khaleesi hair look just for fun um, and for another selfie because like I'm loving that Khaleesi slash Rapunzel hair. It's so good. Who is the girl that, okay, I have to look this up because somebody keeps saying I look like someone that starts with a D. There's also Khaleesi, are they like one and the same? You guys are probably just cringing over there about how much I don't know about Game of Thrones. Okay, so I think Khaleesi and that one chick are the same, one and the same. So I'm gonna take White Walker. I'm going to press that into the lid. See if I get more, oh, there we go. A little bit more payoff and more of a metallic look. It is so pretty. I'm just gonna, I don't really have a plan. I like how this is going on. I feel like I'm getting ready out of a makeup caboodle right now because like this shade is like screaming 90s and early 2000s to me right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of Bend the Knee. This is like a purple. I'm gonna put it on the outer edge here. I'm gonna put gold in the crease. That's like so not something that I would typically do right now, but I just wanna play. So I'm gonna take House of Tergerin. Okay, a f I wish that they would have told everybody how to say all these. Like, could there be a page dedicated to that? Cause honestly, going against makeup rules and putting, you know, some gold in the crease. This gold shade looks really pretty, but it's not really doing a whole lot in the crease for me right now. I feel like this should be more on the eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy. This is Stormborn and I'm going to use this in the crease to deepen it up. I wouldn't say what I'm creating right now is like a wearable look necessarily. I think this is like more of an Instagram look, just FYI in case you're at home, like trying to go out in public with all this metallic up on everything. Like I don't think I would even go in public with this, but if you like it and you wanna wear it out, don't let me stop you. Do whatever makes you feel good. Her eyeshadow is legit so bomb, but it's all the way up to her eyebrow in public, in real life. It's just not something that you see often. I'm gonna grab more of White Walker right here, load it onto the brush. I'm gonna give it a little spritz just to give it even more of like a pretty transparent kind of opalescent look. Gonna go into King's Landing to get a little bit of that gold that I'm looking for. And I'm just going to put this kind of like on the brow bone area. It's like really frosty, light and pretty. So it should go with this pretty well. I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of like round this eye look out. So I'm just putting a little concealer underneath my eyes so that I can continue building my eyeshadow down to the lower lash line with 
without having to worry about getting it all over my face still. Taking white walker and adding this to the inner corner and kind of pulling it out this way to meet our other shade and taking bend the knee kind of in the middle between the two. So I wouldn't normally put the shade on right now, but just for the sake of trying the different things in this collection, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Night King. This is the bluer eye pencil and I'm gonna just work this into the lash line right here. I'm not doing too much though. I just want it slightly defined. So far, I would say that I am pretty impressed with the eyeshadows. I mean, I didn't really expect anything less from Urban Decay. They always have pretty awesome quality eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the base. And I'll be right, I need to stop snapping my fingers. Like, I'll be back in a second. Hopefully I didn't bend this one too much. Uh, I'm gonna add this on the inner, uh, the waterline of the eyes. Whoa, almost stabbed myself in the eye. Okay, this whole thing just broke. Okay, I give up on this. We're gonna try the cheek stain. I'm gonna go in with a lot because Okay, that just removed all my makeup right there. So maybe that is a product that you should wear if you're not planning on wearing tons and tons of foundation like I do. This doesn't work for me. Maybe if there was no foundation on, but yeah, that was a disaster. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face since I went ahead and contoured. Okay, I got my lashes on. I don't actually know what lashes these are because they were just like on my bathroom sink and they were the most like natural looking ones I could find. For lips, I'm gonna line with Morphe's Backseat Love. And I just wanted to do like a nude lip with this because it's like an ethereal kind of look. I just thought it would look better. And I'm gonna fill this in since the nude shade in this bunch is pretty sheer. And this is the shade uh, Sansa Stark and this is the sheer nude from the group. It's got a little bit of a shine to it as well. And for just a little flare, I think I'm gonna try this one. This is the Cersei Lannister Metalized and this is one's in like the coppery. And I was gonna put it like right in the middle. Almost forgot to do highlight. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it all in the family and use um, the Urban Decay After Hour Eight Hour Glow Powder Blush. I wish they would have included like a single blush shade instead of that like stain, to be honest. I'm gonna put extra blush on because whenever you take pictures, I swear it removes most of your blush. So I'm gonna over exaggerate this just a little bit. I'm going to start with this pink one and I think I'm actually gonna put a little bit of uh, White Walker in with it, but just to match the eyes, but just so we can see what this one looks like on its own. Wow, that's pigmented. That is so pretty. This is really, really pretty. Once again, I wouldn't really purchase like a pink highlighter. I have a few and that's that's good enough for me, but if you are into the shade or just the collection in general, this is a really pretty, good quality, finely milled highlight. Now I'm gonna go in with this one right here because I wanna see how this does. Wow, that's, I think that might be a little too dark, but I'm gonna try it out on the forehead a little bit. Oh, it's really pretty too. I'm gonna use this darker shade right here, which is Regal. And I'm gonna kind of use this as like a bronzer just to see what happens. Like it might be just too shimmery or whatever, but hopefully it'll translate okay on camera. I don't know if I can really see it. There's a lot happening right here. In a photo, I swear it removes like a lot of it. So this highlight is really pretty. You know, it's almost not too pink. Like it doesn't scream like pink. So you might even be able to wear that with just like a light, nice like look or like a really smoked out black look that could look really cool with. So it's it's not quite as pink and in your face as like I thought it was gonna be. It's really pretty. Here we are with the full Khaleesi hair and look. I just got all these extensions put in. Feel like either Khaleesi, but since I'm not so invested in Game of Thrones, more like Daryl Hannah and Splashed. Remember that movie? I like always wanted her hair. I kind of feel like her right now. 
So here's the final look. I am interested to hear what you guys think about me not watching Game of Thrones after the first five episodes. Should I dive back in and give it a shot? What do you guys think? What is your recommendation? Let me know in the comments below. Um, final thoughts. <laughs> Final thoughts on this collection. I think the eyeshadows performed really well. There's definitely a couple in there that I would never use just because they're kind of more of a flakier kind of uh, consistency, which I'm not a giant fan of personally. Doesn't mean they're not good. I think the quality of the all of the makeup that I did use was great. Um, one thing that I really didn't like in this whole collection was the cheek stain. This removed my makeup. I didn't like it. I would never use it again. Uh, it's also red. Like I'm not really into like rosy red cheeks. It's not really my thing. The highlight was, uh, I was presently pleasantly surprised by I actually used the darker one as kind of a bronzer and that worked out pretty well, I think. So I take back what I said about this not really being universally usable. I think that the pink is actually really pretty, even though I thought it was going to be super pink, it turned out to be more muted, which it's beautiful. Like it's like finely milled, really pretty. I'm interested to try this out with like kind of like a darker smoky look and see what I think about those. But overall, super impressed. I think the packaging is really beautiful and it kind of is inspiring me to want to watch Game of Thrones again, but I'm going to check the comments and see what you guys have to say. So let me know. What do you think of this collection as well? I'd love to know if you grabbed any of it or if you're going to take it or leave it. So let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.